Hello everyone, welcome to a new player's guide on how to survive the wonderful world, yet often scary world of Project Zomboid. So, you get this game and you don't know what to do. Now you've seen everybody play it, but some guys are not new friendly. This one is just for you. So I spawn in Moldra, that's usually the lowest risk town you want to spawn in for new people. And when you spawn in... You want to spawn ideally in a town with a TV and a nice little house. Because as soon as you spawn in, you'll spawn in the, during the time of the day, you'll have this life and living show. So you want to go to the TV. You're going to click turn on like so. Now you don't want the volume too high. Zombies will hear it and they will come to you. And you're just going to tune into this. And as you can see, I'm getting cooking. Wow. Just basically doing nothing, just watching it. And if you're playing solo, the wonderful thing about it is you can fast forward. And look at that, I just got one level off the sitting. And your first day is very crucial. You can walk around while it's going. Just so it, uh. Just so you know, like, your character will hear it. And you can still rank up. And see it ended, he'll usually conclude it. And so now you just want to basically loot your house. You don't want to grab too much because if you're lightweight, the best lightweight you have is the better in case you are getting jumped. In case I got a sheet here, you want to rip that. That's rip sheets. So you go to your health tab, get scratched, you're going to go here. You'll get like a bleeding effect and you'll put a bandage on here. Such as this or the rip sheets. And you want to grab some food because your character is going to get hungry a lot. And uh most ideal thing is a can opener and you just want to check the fridge there's not always fresh food in there just about so it's at the start after about a week the power will turn off on you though and you will be stuck with the yummy canned food see uh, if you eat you're gonna get a these are your moodlets and they basically how you tell you how your character's feeling so he's so he feels good eating, and now he's full of bursting. So, usually it'll go away quick, though. So he's stuffed. You don't want to grab too much food. This will be alright for my guy. And that basically helps my strength, which in turn helps my weight. So I can carry 16 pounds worth of weight, basically. And these are all your skills. So ideally, I think you would want to be a lumberjack to start the game off because they start off very strong. Play extra point and axes. So you, axes, are, in my opinion, are the easiest to find and the best melee weapon used in the game. And they are perfect for the job. So when you spawn in, you're going to want to look around. Looks like I'll spawn in a little trailer park. So we got one zombie. On your first day, you kind of want to go very slow, so you just press C to go into stealth mode. Like that. So if you don't want to go in a house, you can just open the window. Hold E, but it's a bad example. That one will not open. If a zombie does see you, well, you're going to have to kill it. You can hear him coming up. Just going to push him to death. Or backing up. I want to start on the ground, you're going to stop its head until it dies. Like in this case, he has a butter knife. And I will use that. All the doors are unlocked, so you're going to try all the windows to try to get in. And you just hold E to get in. Close the door. Close the window so nobody sees you. You just want to take it nice and slow. That's what the first day is all about. First day, we need to do find a place that we want to secure so that we can give them better keys so that's probably for the car outside and a meat cleaver more food <clears throat> basically if you want to I'm just want to take the zombie out so I don't want it to deal with them later The more you play, the better you'll get. 
and I'm gonna check this car. Usually the trunk could have something good. And the more you do stuff, you will rank up your skills, such as sneaking. As I'm sneaking around, it ranks up. The truck's unlocked. You just press this button right here, and it will unlock your trunk. There's nothing in the car. Nothing useful. Homes like these could be good potential starter bases, especially upstairs. That's what I personally prefer. And if you can get a watch off killing a zombie, that's ideal. I might have went by one. I'm really hoping this zombie has one. Yep, you want a digital watch. So it tells you the... A standard watch will just tell you time of the day, but this one tells you your temperature and... Month and day. Uh, <clears throat> ideally, what else you want to find is... Something to carry... Oop. Your character will get scared, and it scares me a lot too. Your character will panic when he sees a zombie, and it will make you, your accuracy will go down. So, the main quest right now is finding another storage bag, also getting meds, a bandage. Sipping tap would help if you need to sleep. If you want the time to fly, but in this case, in our first day, every action we use is very important. This is a potential home. We want to keep that in mind. You press M, you pull up your map. Or you could spawn with a mini map here to make things easier, but if you want more realism, you can get rid of it. Can you feel immersed? Ideally, you see all these clothes and they offer you scratch and bot protection, which is nice. But in this game, you really just do not want to take any damage. That is how you will survive. But every time you get scratched or a laceration, is what it's called, there's a chance that you could get a fever or be infected. And in this case, this is where a house alert goes off and you see all them. This is where you're going to run. It's very unlucky. Some houses do have house alarms and some don't. So as soon as you hear that, you just want to get out of here. Because every zombie in the town will be over there. And the best way to lose them is just to get out of here. Break line of sight. Such as the, wo the woods here. Now these zombies are going to see me and they're going to want to follow me. Basically, I just need to get out of here and find another home. And my character is thirsty. So, he needs to drink something, and I currently have nothing. Besides a juice box, but I'm not to save that. Now we have two zombies. You start the game, you can have multi hit on like this. Where they both light up green. And that helps especially with taking on a few more than you normally would without it. Just gotta deal with a few stragglers. Just standing all the way, the zombies is the best thing to do. But case I need to best thing to do if you don't feel safe in any situation is just run no matter what now if I saw like three of them put the corner I'm probably gonna run if they come in staggered like that you can take them out pretty easily now I did hear a zombie banging on the window make sure you always close your windows so that leads me to believe that there is a zombie in here in one of these rooms, so if you want to hold right click and press E, you can open it. This might have went outside. If you always want a free drink, you go up to the sink and just click drink like this. But they do have a set amount of waters, so especially when the water goes out, they will not regenerate their water. 
So ideally it's 1.30 now. I need to find a place that I can hole up. My character, you have moderate exertion, so when he swings, they're going to be less powerful and they take longer. If we pull up the map, we can tell if we either, you can tell we're going away from town. So ideally, we don't want to do that. This is a screwdriver, that's very important mid game. In your first week, you only need a screwdriver. If you want to play very stealth, stealthy, you can um, right click and you click walk too. So whenever you left click, he'll do it. And you can just fast forward time. So you can take your time. There's just way too many zombies. How someone really thwarted the plan to live there. To get rid of it, you just hold right click. Basically, I'm getting out of here. Bingo. So I see a house like that. Uh, I want that very large, which means there's a lot of furniture that I could use. Breaking line of sight of the zombies like this. Ideally, you do want two story, like I said, but if you're running out of time for the night, your character is going to start getting sleepy, and that does make it significantly harder to. survive because you uh, you get a lot tired quicker and so when you get this is a perfect home actually they'll have a curtain here and you can just do that see how you see through it goes away it means it blocks the line of sight you can grab more sheets if there's a window that doesn't have one such as the doors usually the doors don't have it but you can uh, right click the door Click add sheet, and you right click it, close the curtain, and you want to make sure everything is here, turn the TV off, you don't want any zombies sneaking up on us when you're asleep, when you're asleep they hear you, they will break into your house, and when you wake up, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. This house is, has a lot of food on it, so if you want to put like your fit perishables in there, the ones that you just say that say fresh, well, uh, those are your perishables. And you just want to secure the house. Nothing good. Vitamins are good if your character's tired, such as now I can take some to help with my exertion. Until it's clear, I have some daylight left, and I'm really wanting a backpack, so I'm gonna try to go find this one. Backpack or a garbage bag. Garbage bags are really nice for the game. You can carry your secondary. But that means you have to play a lot more stealthy if you are wanting to be more confrontational with the zombies. see something on the ground like on these tables you always want to check the ground search area instead of the container because they will not be there usually where I spawn this is a very safe area so this is just the trailer park the Modric uh, the main town is this way so once you get geared up and if you can go straight in the main town as you can tell, the game map is massive. It's very large. You can also wash yourself, which I always like doing. 
just because the character could get sick from having all this blood on him. Which I think at 27 weeks later, I don't think we want. Or 28 weeks later, you don't want any blood on you. And also 27 days later. But there's nothing here. We have three zombies. Uh, I'm probably gonna take out. So you can call him over while you're crouched. Press Q, and he says, "I." Lowercase hey. As you can tell, they only pulled in one. And which is perfect for me. The other ones are probably hear me. But by the time they hear, it's over for me. With this increased strength, it makes my damage a lot better. Lumberjack is definitely a perfect starter profession. And the traits, I will definitely get into another guide. Just so people understand. There's the two story home. If I could find that zombie with the duffel bag, that would be perfect. See, multi hit, that's really useful to start off. I personally use it all the time. But usually, some multiplayer servers will not have it. Don't see duffel bag. Oh yeah, it's the whole town. That's what fire alarms can do, or house alarms will do for you. See, I don't feel confident with that, so I'm not even going to try it. If you don't find a storage container or a backpack or anything on your first day, it's alright. You can always have your second day. You just The first day is all about surviving. And a lot of things can go wrong, which you don't expect, such as fire alarm. And as you can tell, there's a lot of zombies near our house. So I'm going to cut this one away while also trying to get in here. Just to see. Planks are very helpful late game. Metal bar is really nice and a pop. Bludgeon weapons are my favorite to use. This is a really good find. It's full of it's full of nothing but books, which is what you'll need to learn. My character is tired, so the bludgeon weapon is the most effective. But these are personally one of my favorite things. And you always want to grab pins. Just need one if it's a pin. See, like on the map here, you got your right. So you can make symbols basically if you want to remember stuff. So if you click home like this, you can do anything if you want your home, but I'm simple. And that's how you put your home down. So if you ever get lost, you can put it here. If you find some loot in another home that you need to come back for, do that. But you cannot erase it unless you have like a pencil and an eraser. So as you tell, it's 5.20, it's getting dark, so it's concluding our first day. We've done pretty well. We've accomplished about everything I want. what you want to do is find somewhere safe. Just keep eating. And you always want to avoid getting scratched. If you do, it's over. In my opinion, there's always that chance you'll die, and sometimes you just disheartening if you have a run of two months and you just die to a little scratch and then we're still tired and reading you, it, in your spare time you do want to read it. so I need to go grab a book real quick out of the garage And personally, if you want to start a game, I think you should take Fast Reader. It just saves time when it comes to reading this. Such as, a good one would be cooking. Since we've already got a level in it. Usually, Life and Living has the cooking show in the mornings. I'm just going to right-click it and click Read. 
And he'll just read it. You can see on the ground. Fast forward while he reads it. Just take a while though. So I can read it for a few hours here. Which about seven. The fast reader, he does read it at a very fast rate. You can tell. And now as you tell, especially reading will get your character tired. Just like real life. Nobody wants to do it. And you'll get the trait. Drowsy. So it means it's getting sleepy. It doesn't affect nothing yet, but later in the game it does. Later in the day you'll get more tired. Basically just turn off all your lights to minimize zombie attraction at all. And that's all you gotta do. Basically you survived your first day. It does seem scary, there's a lot of things with Zomboid. Panicking is just trial and error. You just learn how to do it. And you just go to sleep here. And he will fast forward until he's not sleeping anymore. 4 a.m., good time. Early in the morning. But you lived your first day. It's the 10th now. But, thank you for watching. I hope this does help a lot because a lot of people... Just jump in and you will die. And your interest in the game can be lost. But, hey, I hope this does help. And thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.